The next level, which is the complementary uh, program or uh, mixed program, and uh, here it is integrated sessions represent a major feature of the curriculum. So most of the curriculum is now being taught uh, through uh, integrated sessions. And the focus of teaching is a theme or a topic to which different disciplines contribute, right? So we have a theme and then different disciplines are contributing to that and we will go into the detail uh, and uh, also we would answer the question raised by uh, Dr. Adnan Khalid. Okay, now let's see how do we develop the theme because the uh, this level eight is based on, the curriculum is based on, on the themes. So, so let's talk about a module on hemopoietic hematology and lymphoid module. Then first we identify the major contributors of teaching a basic science teachers in our uh, disciplines in that module. Now, in this hemopoietic module, the major contributing disciplines would be physiology, biochemistry, pathology, and pharmacology. And we request those uh, disciplines to give, let's say, the what are the first three topics. Just an example, first three topics you would like to teach in, in this module. And let's say, and then they come up uh, with, with the uh, with the the topics uh, at the moment I, I'll just give one example uh, of this let's say physiology says that we would teach hemopoiesis biochemistry says that we want to teach the structure of hemoglobin pathology says anemia pharmacology says iron therapy now just think which theme or which topic can connect all these four areas, hemopoiesis, structure of hemoglobin, anemia, or iron therapy. What comes Iron deficiency the... anemia. All right. Basically is anemia. So the theme would be the anemia, right? Because this is how we arrive at, we look at those topics and then we find out which clinical condition can actually combine or connect all those topics. And then based on this, let's say we came up with the theme of anemia. Now under anemia, we have to cover hemopoiesis, hemolysis and hemorrhage. So based on that, uh, we will prepare a timetable. I'll come to that a bit later. Here is another example. This is about the, the uh, cardiovascular uh, module. And this is actually the, I did this exercise in, in my own medical school and I got these topics from different uh, disciplines. The physiology says that they want to teach properties of cardiac muscle conduction system of the heart, the cardiac cycle. Anatomy says we want to teach gross anatomy of the heart, blood supply of the heart, development of the heart, biochemistry, cardiac uh, biomarkers, hyperlipidemia and its impact, mm -hmm. biochemical changes in myocardial tissue, pathology, myocardial infarction, heart failure, infective endocarditis, pharmacology, antiarrhythmic drugs, drugs used in heart failure, drugs used for angina and myocardial infarction. So we uh, obviously, one, uh, we, once we have the uh, module, let's say CVS module, it would be for seven or eight weeks or uh, uh, what number of weeks. So we have to uh, find these uh, themes for uh, each week, sometimes it may be more than a week as well. So let's say based on this, what would be the theme in the first week? MI. Yes, right, absolutely right, yes. MI would unite many of these topics. And then we uh, obviously, uh, 
later on we can have let's say uh, infective endocarditis the let's say the theme of of the of the second week uh, or heart failure later on basically if you see most of the time it would be the pathology that their input would make the theme because they are related to the clinical yes dr adnan yes please uh so the theme should can be either a clinical uh, situation like chest pain or it can be a disease like myocardial infarction so which uh, is better the, the, if you have to choose a theme for this uh, very example should it be say chest pain or myocardial infarction uh, the when we are because chest pain would be then so many other causes as well not only cvs there would be many many other causes but here we want to relate to cvs only and then it's for especially for basic sciences it's important to have a clear uh, theme and based on that uh, once we have uh, you know put this this uh, uh, topics in the timetable we would see what additional for example we would like to invite a physician to give some input on on myocardial infarction uh, yes dr khalid so then what would be the difference between a theme a topic a disease no, what is the difference they, they, i i i i think it, they they can be used interchangeably but the theme seems a better term because it combines many things topic can be only one whereas theme is means that it is many different things are going towards that uh, i i i'll show you a little, little bit later as well that how it helps to have a theme and then if, let's say here the theme is myocardial infarction so physiology is contributing to it anatomy is contributing to it pharmacology is contributing to it pathology is contributing to it then internal medicine is con contributing maybe family medicine con uh, is contributing to it so every boy discipline is contributing to that discipline or uh, that theme in this way we are emphasizing on the theme we are not emphasizing on the disciplines and that's why where, where it says that the integration breaks down the boundaries between disciplines because our emphasis is not on anatomy or physiology our emphasis is on myocardial infarction so uh, that's how we identify this is probably the best way to uh, identify the themes uh, uh, for for that particular uh, uh, module here is the timetable uh, the one i mentioned the anemia so theme is anemia and then we have this uh, this is week 1 uh, the, the the details of that now here we have first we here is introduction to to the module then the this is the uh, uh, normal hemoglobin and overview then is hemopoiesis blood grouping then is hemolytic anemia then is the uh, the abnormal hemoglobin and uh, hemoglobinopathies so you see that the different disciplines are contributing to the theme uh, of, of the week then there is a clinical where is a general history taking and general physical examination in a patient with with anemia the pbl sessions would be also directed towards that however what for example our pbl session is on hemolytic anemia then we would not be teaching those topics in our lectures because that would be covered in the uh, pbl and we do not want uh, the students to just uh, uh, concentrate on the lectures but they should be searching for for that information at their own so in this way once we have identified the theme then we whatever content we have identified we will plan it in a sequential manner in in the timetable now that was the level 8 
where it's covered under themes. Next is uh, level nine, which is multidisciplinary. Uh, yes, Dr. Khalid. Please. Uh, sorry to interrupt you again and again. No, no, no. It's, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, that's what I, I really want. Uh, I presume that the uh, timetable that you showed was uh, for first year. Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. The, because the, the integration is, uh, uh, we start from, generally what happens is the, in our medical schools, uh, first we have a foundation module where we teach all the basic things, basic uh, terminology, etc. of the journal, for example, uh, journal anatomy, uh, journal uh, uh, pharmacology uh, and, and uh, uh, physiology. So because students come from different backgrounds, so in that foundation module, we bring them on the same level, same understanding, and we cover the journal uh, subjects there. And when they come to the modules, they are looking at more special uh, or specific areas. So, so for example, then, then is in this timetable that you showed that they would be taught history taking points in this situation. Right. So uh, we are talking of first year. So are we exposing them to clinics? Because that's, in, that's in right. our setup, that's right. In our setup, we're still uh, going for clinics in the third year. Uh, they, and uh, although I, we I, take yes. Uh, yes, that's right. I, I'll mention a bit later that what we call is early clinical exposure. exposure. Right? So that, that may be in the hospital or maybe maybe in the uh, clinical skill lab where we have a simulated patient or a real 